Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the Ho and Cutlass Farmer's Farm. Today I'm talking to you guys from the farm again and with a big smile on my face because things are turning better. As I said in my last video, things were not going quite well because the rain stopped. My farm was like it got stuck too. But now it rained and everything is going quite well now. Okay, so I'm standing here right in the portion where I cleared. Remember, I was talking about my peppers being stunted. stunted. Uh, this is the area where I've cleared, and it's getting a little bit bushy, but we have to uh, uh, clean it again so we can plant the peppers. The peppers are already uh, getting ready to be transplanted. So I will take a tour of the farm let you, so that you guys can see what's going on at the farm. You can see the progress so people can get inspired and uh, we can make farming a sexy profession because most people think farming is just for retirees for people who have left their jobs and now they don't have anything to do so that's when they go into the farming but remember everyone eats even the young people we need more food so we can get more energetic to do the work so um, let's make farming a sexy profession okay look here this is the corn I was talking about last time it was taunted I remember if you look at my last video the last video I uploaded you can see that the corn was quite short it was quite short and I complained about things eating up uh, worms eating up the corn but now uh, it just rained and everything is changing though we still have some parts where the worm is still eating their corn but it's not as severe as it was before everything is changing and the peanuts i was preparing a place to plant the portion is almost done and we started planting some of the peanuts already uh, germinating so guys follow me please if you are an old person on this channel please thank you for coming back and uh, if you are a new viewer please do not forget to subscribe and uh, click on the notification button so each time i upload a video you can see the progress let's do it let's make farming a sexy profession okay so this is the corn this is the corn right here this is the portion where the corn is you guys can see from far everything has changed so um, it's not that uh, difficult to start a farm and once you start a farm and you start seeing the progress you will get addicted and you want to do it all the time because food is something we eat every day we eat food every day and given the situation in the world right now the food crisis that is going on because of the wars and all the friction that is going on in the world we have to get sustainable we really have to get sustainable so you look at this area this is the area we are tearing for the peanuts so it's almost done and after that we're going to plant the peanuts then go ahead to plant the cassava like i said in the last video so things have really gone further in the farm so this is the portion you guys can see you guys can see this progress as a young person you can get inspired and then go into farming let's make this a sexy profession let's feed the world let's not just wait for the big companies to feed us or for the old people who are on retire retirement to start working portions of farm then feeding us and we're still facing uh, the food crisis okay this this is the portion where we planted and this is the peanuts where we planted and uh, the rain stopped so some of the peanuts is actually coming out you guys can see at this stage we can plant the cassava now because before the cassava shoots uh, the peanuts will already uh, have taken uh, uh, a, it at all in growth so the, the cassava will not be able to spoil it or to, to kill it and here like I said in the last video this is a profi for profitable way to farm because the peanuts are going to act like wheat in the cassava so at this, by the time you are harvesting your uh, peanuts you'll be weeding your farm already you'll be weeding and making your cassava clean so let's go down and see please guys do not forget to subscribe share this uh, video make more people see the channel and so people can uh, subscribe 
uh, we started this journey I think it's about a month or two months now it's a new channel and we are trying to encourage people to go into farming we are trying to make more people see farming as a sexy profession to trying to um, to like uh, open people's mind to what is going on in the world so that people can be more sustainable people can get out of the rat race they can start farming they can start feeding themselves imagine being in the cities right now and being caught up in your job which is not well paid even and maybe prices of everything is high you have to pay your bills you're just making enough to pay your bills and at the end of the day you cannot save anything the rest of the money goes for food whereas you could farm get some food for yourself and feed other people still make some money so why don't we do that okay this is the part these are the cocoa yams you see everything has changed look at how fresh they are so who can say farming is not a good thing we have like i was already almost getting uh discouraged but then i said no this is what i've chose to do so i will not give up until it works and now it's working it's working it's actually working okay look at the cocoa yams look at them quite fresh and even the plantains they're doing well we also have some fruit trees because uh we want to make everything sustainable so that when you come to the farm you can have food to eat you can have fruit to eat you can have you can go back uh with things that can give you a balance can make a balanced diet we have vegetables we can get some vegetables we can also have uh, some fruit then what do we really need what do we really need so guys especially to the young people who are still thinking about going into the farm into farming please do not waste time jump into it because farming there's no standard way of farming there's no standard way of farming like i said because in the i watched a video and a lady was talking about uh, how uh, people came from Europe to Africa to, certain, to, to a certain part of Africa and they were trying to transfer the same method they use in farming in Europe thinking that maybe the farmers who are farming here in Africa they are not doing the right thing but they did forget to know that different portions different climates different everything give difference states in how we farm so they brought in their um, system of farming and they thought it was going to work here but it didn't work so if you want to go into farming the best thing to do is research do your research go about where you want to farm check what people are farming because mostly I know here in Africa mostly farming is uh, subsistence that means people only farm a little bit to eat and just maybe they can have a little bit more to sell so you can go about if you want to really make farming like a business you can go about find out see how people are farming then see what is doing well in the area where you want to farm so you can then take that model and multiply it farming is not a rocket science where you will say everything that works somewhere it must work somewhere that's not that's not uh, how it works that's not how it works use your own head use your own intelligence try different methods the one that works best you should go ahead with it you should go ahead with it so that's what I will tell my fellow young people and any other person who is ready to go into farming anybody who is ready and wants to leave the rat race to start uh, a new life by farming so do not get stuck do not just listen to what people say like I said farming is a whole experience what people tell you is not what you see on the ground when you start farming when you start farming you discover a lot of things maybe some of the methods may work some might not work then you learn from your mistakes and then you build up, you, you build up your own farm and you use your systems use the system that works best for for you so this is what I can tell you guys do not get stuck do not just listen to others because they will discourage you they'll tell you this is not uh, 
uh, maybe you are an educated person they will tell you oh no you are educated why do, should you go into farming you should find a white collar job to do farming is a white collar job right now if you don't if you don't believe me go to the market right now and ask prices of food if you go for two days without eating then you can come back and tell me farming is not uh, a white collar job at the end of the day all the jobs you do what do you do with the money buy food provide for your family you cannot go a day without eating right so why don't you farm what you eat why don't you provide to yourself the food you eat why don't you okay guys look at the farm these are the uh, other plantains that are in the farm you see they are getting fresh right now because the farm is clean the farm is clean so the plantains are getting fresher right now everything is turning back to what I previously planned I almost got discouraged first it was the winds that came pushed down some plantains and bananas the older one I was depending on for food why or doing the farm but I didn't get discouraged I didn't get discouraged I kept on doing what I love and getting myself inspired by motivating myself watching videos of all the people already doing it learning from what they are doing then gaining my own experience on the ground too so that is it guys go into farming it's not only for retirees it's not for people who don't have anything to do it's not for uneducated people farming is the way to go right now look at what is going on in the world right now the wars the crisis everything you get stuck in your apartment looking for something to eat and sometimes when there are lockdowns it even gets more depression because you get depressed you don't have food to eat you can't go, go about the way you want you cannot be free guys go back to the suburbs do some farming do some farming guys please do not forget to subscribe follow my journey let's do this together guys let's do it together if you are an aspirational farmer please don't forget to subscribe and follow this journey I've just been doing this for a short time and I don't regret quitting my job coming back home and starting a farm okay these are the peppers finally we are where the peppers are last time I told you guys they were all stunted these are the peppers already look at some of them already giving flower we haven't transplanted them already so we are doing uh, everything to prepare to finish preparing where we are supposed to plant them look at this it's already giving flowers flowers already so for how long for how long within a few months let's say two months three months four months we'll be harvesting already and this, this is how easy it is to get food for yourself this is how easy when you are in the towns they tell you no don't do farming it's too hard it's not that hard guys it's not that hard it's an initiative and you have to be consistent if you want to do farming you have to be consistent and uh, make sure it's something you really want to do so guys this is the portion we are preparing for the peppers is already uh, uh, getting clean so maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow we'll start planting we'll start planting it guys get motivated please get motivated make farming uh, sexy farming is not just for the elders not for old people not just for you don't have to be an agronomist to start farming farming uh, you learn everything on the field you learn everything on the field you do you fail you learn then you continue and then you win that is it that is it guys thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe share the videos get other people motivated and stick around guys I'll be making more videos to show you the progress and to motivate you especially the young guys who want to go into farming do not get discouraged get out of 
the, 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 the rat race. Do not get stuck there. It's not easy to, to get out of it because of how the media and other people uh, uh, show uh, or maybe, um, how do we say it? How the others portray farming. It makes you scared and you don't want to go into it because you think um, it's so difficult and uh, it's hard, it's difficult, it's degrading, like some would say. Like people who are farmers, they are of low class. No, no. If you don't want to be, if you think you are not of the low class, don't eat. Do not eat if you are not of the low class. So what will make you think a farmer is a low class person if you eat every day and it's the farmer that is feeding you. It's like you condemning fuel for your car, yet you drive cars. You cannot drive your car without the fuel. So if there's no fuel, your car is useless. The same as food, if there's no food, your body is useless. Go into farming guys, follow us. Please subscribe, subscribe, follow our journey. Let's smile together by doing farming. Thank you guys. See you next time. Click on that subscribe button. Click on the bell so that each time we upload a video, you will watch by smiling and then you will see how farming uh, is a sexy profession. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thumbs up.